Alright, so when these two letters come together, they make their own sound. What sound does TH make? When you learn your sight words, you have better fluency. And if you don't know your sight words, then it's choppy. First I read easy books and then I read rigorous. Rika gets smarter and we could go into four upper grades and get to a to high school really quick. You you get you get to see new words if you keep reading. You get to know what those words mean, looking at the pictures and seeing what it's about. Like, like you make it, you're being like an open-minded person. When you look at any picture that's in the book, you can read any word that's in the book. But you need to know your sight words to know the reading. If you don't read, your mind is going to be little. Yeah, you have to express new words to, to be smart. So that's why it's important to read. AVID really helps the students learn to cooperate with other students in class, work together. They can't be passive learners. Our planners will help us know what we're supposed to be finishing and completing. So for example, green means that you finished it, yellow means that you started it but you didn't finish it, and red means that it was due a really long time ago. I would like to be a doctor or a scientist. Avid could help me with that because you have like a bunch of files that you need to find, you know, like re records of like patients and everything. Avid Elementary has helped my children um, by being responsible, organized, and for me, uh, opening up the lines of communication. Creo que Avid ha sido un muy buen programa implementado aquí en la escuela porque no solamente es un programa para la escuela, sino es un proyecto para la familia. It really helped me change my my future, my life. Uh, I thought I couldn't get A's and B's. I was a C student max in seventh grade, and my Avid teacher has really helped me. I didn't have that before Avid. Avid is like another family. The AVID program has got my parents involved a lot. They go through Student Connect, check my grades now. They check, they make sure my notes are done, my grades are on point. Sometimes I didn't believe in myself, but I had teachers like Mr. Padilla, Ms. Fuller, Mr. Guillen that actually believed in me and said, you know what, you're gonna become somebody. And today I'm wearing this suit, you know, and before my parents wouldn't see me wearing a suit, you know. My parents only wanted me to learn the language and get a job and that's it. I graduated in the fall actually from my Spanish degree and I would have never thought I would have made it this far. And that's what I wanted to work with David. That's what I became my habit tutor too. So I could tell my, the kids my story a little bit and see that if I could make it, then they could make it. But the same way, Abbott, with the hand of Abbott, you know, helping me out. If it would have been for Abbott, I could have become, you know, a little gangster around here. As you can see here, around here, Home Gardens. A lot of those kids go that way, you know? And I want to inspire them to, you know, you know what? Yeah, you know, there's stereotypes and everything, but you don't have to become that. There's way better things that you could do for your life. I am a product of Abbott, and I'm proud to say I am a product of Abbott. It, it's it's really challenging for me, especially for my background. But yeah, it's I love the class. Well, Miss Ransom give us a series of handouts where they give us uh, like a sample essays from previous AP exams and that really helps with how it ranked from like the highest score from 9 to 1. So I, it, that helps me a lot and some of, sometimes she gives us pointers that I use also through our uh, practice exams. I've learned that I can actually I can actually challenge myself more because before I was so scared to go into AP and I think I can do anything now. When I was lit, like, I don't know how old I was, like four I believe, I was enrolled in the rocket program because I was having trouble learning new things and, and I was in special ed till my ninth grade year. AP classes tend to help you in groups more than it did like in the past years for me. I'm currently enrolled in AP Calculus BC, AP Physics, and AP Government. I've got accepted to Cal State Fullerton and I'm on the waiting list for Cal Poly Pomona. I've learned like to 
always challenge yourself no matter how hard it, it'll be. Just if you want it, you gotta go and get it. I'm a student mostly at Lee Pollard. I come to Santiago just for the engineering program here just to get the experience because of Ms. Marker's expertise. It's really preparing you for uh, further education on in life. We are already getting our college credits. I want to become a manufacturing engineer one day, so that's already helping prepare us for the future world. And it's very hands-on, so you're not just sitting behind a desk all day. You actually get to go machine parts. You get to be hands-on with everything you're doing preparing you for the real world. Right now, uh, I'm working in groups. I'm working on a new Chamber of Commerce for Corona. So this is what our project has laid out so far, and it's just a two-story building. It's got classrooms, lobbies, uh, offices, um, cubicles. So we get, we get to like learn like what places need and how they need it. So like we, like last year, uh, or two years ago, his kids did the same project and they went and talked to the Chambers of Commerce people and asked them what do you want and then they made the project from there. There's no like just sitting here waiting and learning. It's, you're always, he'll tell you something and then you'll do it um, automatically. So it's, it's a lot of just instantly you're doing stuff and instantly you're learning and getting the experience and knowledge you need. My name is Juliana Rodriguez. I am Noah Garcia. I'm Tyler Hansel. I am Caitlin Hughes. And, and I am Ian USD Future Ready. Ready.